My name is Dockford Stresha and welcome to my YouTube channel. I travel to different places. I treat animals in need. I am Dockford Stresha, Animal Doctor. Today, we are going to talk about proper dental care for your pets. Gaano ba talaga kahalaga at kaimportante na makita natin at ma-check yung mga alaga nating hayop para sa kanilang dental health? Para makita natin kung yung ano yung tsura ng kanilang ipin at uh, ma-check natin kung ano yung health status ng kanilang gums. No? So, ito yung tinatawag nating periodontal health. And how often do we need to check them? How often do we need to clean them? And what are the implications kung hindi natin sila alagaan? Uh, madalas kinukomplain at dinadala sa clinic yung mga pets nila na walang gana kumain. So una kong tinitignan yung kanilang ngipin no? at yung kanilang gums. Kadalasan kaya sila walang gana kumain dahil masakit or may, may uh, disease yung kanilang uh, gums or yung kanilang teeth. Ang mga signs na we, we need to look at is kung may gingivitis o pamamaga ng bagang, kung may halitosis o may amoy yung kanilang hininga no, na nabubulok na ipin, at yung pamamaga at walang gana sa pagkain. So these are the common signs na pinapakita ng mga alaga nating hayop na posibleng meron silang sakit sa kanilang ipin. So what will your vet do? We'll do a thorough checkup, examine the mouth, and sometimes kung medyo in pain talaga yung hayop, kailangan nating isedate a little bit so that we can do a thorough checkup ng kanilang bibig. Uh, there'll be times na the vet will call for radiographic examination ng kanilang bibig para ma-assess natin kung ano ba talaga yung nangyayari na hindi natin nakikita with our naked eyes. So the radiograph will tell us kung may nabubulok na bang ipin sa ilalim, sa ilalim kung merong uh, disease gums or abscesses that are forming inside. Na usually, hindi naman natin nakikita with the plain eyes. Kahibahan, pag-handle natin sa mga hayop versus sa mga tao, is yung mga hayop kasi kailangan natin i-general uh, anesthesia para ma-check natin fully, malinis yung ipin, at uh, matignan kung kailangan natin tanggalin ang ilan sa mga ito. Sa mga tao kasi, pwedeng local anesthesia lang because you can tell them to open their mouth, turn to the left, turn to the right, sa mga aso, sa mga alaga nating pets, hindi natin pwedeng gawin yun. So, uh, they have to be in general anesthesia. And for us, to be able to secure yung, or para sa amin, para mapababa natin yung risk factors, we do a general checkup of their blood to give us an information kung kamusta yung kanilang uh, kidneys, yung status ng kanilang liver, if they are fit uh, to do the surgery. Kapag okay at clear ang kanilang health uh, through the blood exams, uh, we will proceed with uh, the dental prophylaxis. No? Dadalhin yung uh, pets nyo dito sa clinic and then pwedeng uuwi na rin siya after the procedure pagkatapos nung uh, dental prophylaxis. The procedure will last around mga one hour depending sa condition nung kung gaano kalala yung sitwasyon o yung condition ng uh, ating alagang aso. Kung linis lang, Less than an hour, tapos na. Now, tumatagal lang kung merong mga abscesses, kung may kailangan bunuti na ipin, sometimes kung may bali sa bagang, mas tatagal yung procedure. Dinala sa amin klinik ang asong si Milchik. Oh, man. So, there are a lot of decaying teeth. Look at that. Ayan, so, bulok na. We'll have it removed. Uh, or check it later kung kailangan tanggalin. We'll do that. No? Okay? So, let's get her ready. Para dito sa procedure na. Marami sang ngipin ni Milkshake. Balot na ng plak at tartar o mga bakterya na tumigas na. Para hindi sa makin ang ngipin ni Milkshake at para maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng infeksyon, kailangan siyang bunutan ng ngipin. Magamit yun eh. Thank you. 
Nalinisan natin yung kabilang side, no? Itong side naman na left side yung nilinisin natin. Ganun din. Mas uh, uh, madaming problema na ipin doon do sa likod niya kaysa doon sa harapan. The pump ones are all good, actually. They're clean, tapos hindi sila masyadong disease, no? But the ones that are at the back, yun yung talagang affected, no? Kita mo to. Yan, no? So... Uh, exposed na yung root ng, ng, ng teeth at saka yung forcation no, yung forcation makikita mo na at saka takita mo talaga ang kapal ng flux niya so kung tatanggalin natin to yun yung ipin niya pagod na ayun so ganyan kalaki ganyan kakapal yun na andun sa cover ng ipin ayan yung actual teeth niya yung tooth ito yung flux na ito yung nagkukover dyan sa ipin niya but this uh, tooth is actually diseased we're going to take it out maganda pa kung matanggal yung mga ganong klaseng ipin rather than to let them linger and stay there uh, na infected no? so uh, we're just waiting for her to wake up and then lalagyan natin siya dun sa controlled area where we can control the temperature a little bit and warm her up a little bit so uh, mas maganda yung gising niya so yung mga ipin na nabubulok na na exposed na yung roots they are painful mas maigi pang matanggal na lang or mabunod na lang itong mga ipin na ito kesa magsuffer sa uh, sakit at disease at infection yung mga alaga nating hayop yung decaying tooth or yung teeth can actually harbor in bacteria that are sources for infection that can actually spread systemically sa mga alaga ninyong hayop can affect their kidneys, their liver and their heart. Bakit nabubulok yung mga ipin? Uh, genetic plays a role into that. No? Some dogs are more acidic. Uh, they're prone to diabetes oh, genetically. So they're more prone to having these kinds of diseases. No? Isa pa, yung diet na kinakain ng mga alaga nating hayop can actually play a role in the development of periodontal diseases. Pangatlo, yung kanila activities. If they like to chew on hard, uh, hard objects, yung mga toys na matitigas, yung mga buto, can actually break their teeth and cause uh, infection. Uh, Pang-apat, yung pag-aalaga na binibigay sa kanila, hindi natin nililinis yung kanila ng ipin, we don't give them uh, proper dental prophylaxis or proper dental care, or kung hindi natin sila pinapacheck up for their dental health, they're more prone to developing dental diseases. 80% of dogs and cats can have periodontal disease at the age of 2. So, hindi ibig sabihin na bata pa yung hayop, bata pa yung alaga nating hayop, uh, hindi siya magkakadevelop ng ganitong mga klaseng sakit. Hindi mo kailangan stereo, so we're just going to use the sub gloves. Do that. Iisan yung dog ulit kasi medyo malaki yung kamay ko, hindi yung show gloves. Tear, tear out easily. So, dinodobli natin para mas pag na additional protection. Okay, oops, see? Ito <laughs> talaga. Okay, so if you notice, yung, yung ito, this is just 2 years old. Pero grabe na yung ano niya, yung dumi niya sa ipi niya. So we start off with scaling the teeth. So the same instruments na ginagamit sa tao, ng mga dentista, are the same instruments that we use here. No? A scaler, we need to use a burr, a polisher, all these things. All the instruments that they use, we use as well. Uh, a method lang yung difference because they need to be in general anesthesia before we be able to proceed. Otherwise, you can't say, to a dog na to stay still or turn left or turn right like how we do for humans no? with dogs they have to be uh, completely subdued uh, for them, and for them to be completely subdued kailangan nila in general anesthesia we just do the the teeth like this no? especially under the gums Thank you. 
Era piquito más indiferente, no sé. Yung mga bleeding na ganyan, you will see sometimes, no? Kasi if you manipulate the gums, you would notice that it would bleed. Kasi to begin with, uh, medyo may problema na yung gums because of kind of black and tan tan, no? Uh, by cleaning the teeth, doing this prophylaxis, doing all the teeth, at saka itong polishing, no? We are actually making the gums more healthy, making them healthier. So your bleeding na yan will be lessened eventually. Oh, now compare that feet, the set of feet, that side to this side. No? So that to me. Okay? So imagine mo, yung mga aso na hinahalipan pa rin ni Ari sa bibi. <laughs> Nakikipag lips to lips. So the first thing I check is yung yung ibi ng aso. And, and tell them uh, how dirty their uh, dog feet are. So, this procedure na ito, will take around, siguro mga 30 minutes to 1 hour, let's say 1 hour, kasama na yung preparation. And kung wala naman tayong extractions and all that, bilis lang. Ang uh, nagpapatagal kasi is if we need to do extractions, isasuture pa natin, no? And then kung may bleeding, we need, to, we need to control the bleeding. So all those things that makes it uh, longer and more difficult for the patient, no? But if regular yung dental prophylaxis, mas less yung uh, time na i-devote para sa pagbilinis din eventually. And uh, this dental trophy has to be done on a yearly basis, ideally. No, on uh, a perfect world, on a perfect situation, and, and, you know, uh, kailangan ginagawa ito dental trophy yearly. Kasama sa yearly check-up ng mga aso natin, mga kampusa at saka aso. Okay, alright. So, one of the side effects ng anesthesia is yung hypothermia. No? So, ibig sabihin, bumababa yung temperature nila. So, we put them on chambers like this para to give them extra warmth. That's oxygen in it. Kapag nag-recover sila, hindi sila masyadong binibig now. And it's safer for us to do that. You can look at them every now and then to ano yung nagiging response na if it's breathing properly, if everything's okay, no? So makikita natin na ito. Plus, the temperature is regulated. So kung kinikinang sila, we can increase the temperature para medyo warm yung conditions nila. That way, it will be safer for them. Or it will, they will be more comfortable once they wake up. yellowish yung kulay ng ipin ng aso ay eh, may sakit na ito. No? So, the pigments can actually vary. However, the formation of plaques and tartar around the teeth can actually change their color. Brushing has to be done on a daily basis. Parang tayong mga tao, no? kung nagbabrush tayo two to three times a day, sa kanila, if you can do twice a day, that would be ideal. If you can do once a day, that would be good as well. Do not use yung toothpaste na ginagamit natin because most of them have xylitol and that's not good for your dogs. And then you use your toothpastes. Madami tayong available na toothpaste in the market and some of them are enzymatic. Dentist sticks are actually good to uh, you know, prevent or delay the deformation of uh, uh, plaques and tartar. Periodontal health is equally important in maintaining your pet's overall health. So galing, pa-check natin ito sa veterina every time you visit. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to click the subscribe button. See you again.